We all know cost of living has skyrocketed pretty much all over the country. Austin is on another level. We're taking a look at a report that will open some eyes. Stay tuned. What's happening, everybody? Ian Grossman here, your realtor in Austin, Texas. Hey, y'all. I'm Lindsay Fenton, and we are the Fenton Grossman Group. We're back out of here to educate you, keep you in the know about all things happening in Austin, Texas. So if this is your first time on our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any big developments here in the ATX. And don't forget to check out our Austin Relocation Guide that gives you everything you need to know about the Austin market before you step foot in the city. Definitely check that out. Look. We love making these videos to educate you about what's happening here in the ATX, but we're also agents, boots on the ground here, helping people just like you each and every day. All of our contact info is in the description. We're the ones who answer when you call, text, or email. So reach out if we can ever be of service to you. All right, let's jump into today's topic, which is talking about cost of living. We're gonna discuss a little bit about how rent is going crazy here in the Austin area. We know that everything is more expensive now. Mm -hmm going to get gas, going to get groceries. It seems like the bill just gets higher and higher. Renting a home, buying a home here in the Austin area is the same. It is. So the study we're talking about today is about how rent prices are going up. Nationwide last year, they went up about 25%. So a one bedroom apartment nationwide is about $1,700 a month. And I hope you guys are sitting down because Austin is $3,200 a month for a one bedroom, which is 121% from the prior year. Yeah, uh, seeing an increase like that is just honestly insane when you're thinking of people that are just looking to rent a house. Maybe they're not in the market to buy, maybe they can't afford right now to buy a home. Um, but seeing Austin on the level of New York City on San Francisco is really, um, eye-opening to see us at that level because we're so much smaller uh, from a population standpoint than those big cities. And keep in mind too, so that $3,200 a month is mainly talking about inner city, like downtown Austin and like the super hot pockets. I have a couple of investment properties in South Austin and like in East Austin, Tiramo area. And those are roughly like low $2,000 a month. So it's still high, but those are for three bedroom homes, not one bedroom apartments. So still, yeah pretty high. Yeah, you can get more, much more for your money. Obviously, the further you go out the city, the big thing to focus he on here is the year over year increase. And we know that uh, salaries are not increasing at the same pace as home prices, which is why we've seen the demand for people moving to Austin has definitely cooled off. We just did a video talking about how Austin, the development costs here are more expensive than any other metro in, in Texas and the rents are the same. So we'll go through the, we'll rank those cities. So Austin is number one, May 2022 data shows Austin monthly rent is $3,200 a month. Houston is $1,300 a month and Dallas is $1,600 a month. And then coming behind that is San Antonio at a thousand roughly and then Corpus as well as around a thousand. So Austin wins again. Well, when you look at Austin compared to somewhere like San Antonio, which again, two very different cities. I've been down to San Antonio. I don't get the same feel that I get when I'm in the Austin area. Mm -hmm. But if someone's looking at paying a third of what they would have to pay if they wanted to live downtown Austin, you know, living in downtown San Antonio, that might be enough to kind of push them down to San Antonio or maybe somewhere in between like Kyle, San Marcos or New Braunfels. So, Again, affordability issues are really what's driving people to maybe choose other cities in Texas uh, other than Austin. I think it's also really important to note that the reason why we're talking about this, yes, not everyone can buy right now, not everyone wants to buy right now, but there are a lot of misconceptions about buying. So if our rents are $3,200 a month on average, you can get into a home for around that price in a three bedroom, two bath home for around that price start your equity and you don't need 20% down. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you're looking at say a $500,000 house and you want to put 5% down, even using the rates that what we're seeing today, right around 5.625, or you can take a look at five and a half, even bump it up a little, you're probably looking at around $3,700 a month if you put 5% down, which yes, 
that's higher than a, what you would pay for that one bedroom, but you're also getting a house mm -hmm. and you own it. So you're paying your own mortgage. You're not paying your landlord's mortgage. If you have the cash to put down, you want to put down 20%, you can bump that down that monthly closer to 3,200 and you're paying the exact same thing. So then you might be saying, well, I can't buy a house for thirty for $500,000 in Austin, maybe not downtown, but there are many areas around the city right now where you can get easy access to the city where you can still find good options for 500 or less. To piggyback off what Ian said about how Austin and San Antonio, you know, they're, they are very different cities. Rents are obviously lower in San Antonio, but Austin, people move to Austin because it's Austin. They're willing to pay the prices for Austin. Are they expensive? Yes, but it's Austin. Yeah, and when you look at like the tech companies moving here, the jobs that are available, um, there is more opportunity here in Austin than in a lot of these other mm -hmm. cities. One last thing to note, when you're comparing, when you're looking, should I buy, should I rent? As buyer demand cools, which we've seen happen as interest rates have dipped or have gone up a little bit, as the, the buyer demand cools, rent demand is gonna go up, mm -hmm. continuing to increase those prices because there's still a supply issue when it comes to rentals in the downtown and greater Austin area. So now if you're looking to buy a home, understand, yes, rates are a little bit higher than they were earlier this year, but it's also more attainable to get a house now. Buying a house, you have choices. Buyers, we've seen a lot of our buyers are offering closer to asking price, in some cases under asking price, more concessions from the seller, and they're getting offers accepted. Couldn't do that a few months ago. So keep that in consideration when you are looking. Should you buy? Should you rent? Thanks so much for tuning in today. We hope you got some value out of our video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.